Well, what's inside your digestive tea? It has pericone. It's a traditional uh, remedy by the Maya people for anything digestive. Pericone, I haven't heard of that herb. You can't buy it around, can you? No, you can't buy it. And it does everything. When you have problems in digestion, uh, you have to do lots of different things. You have to clean out the, the toxins. You have to t use a tonic to build up your digestive organs. Uh, you... Uh, so, pericone has all the different properties. You need to cut the gas, you need a, a tranquilizing. How, 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 how is it spelled? P E R I C O N E? C O N E. Okay, pericone, okay. It's uh, in the Tagetes family. But it also has mugwort, which is a really potent uh, uh -huh. parasitical, and it has a bit of turmeric and ginger in it, and uh, it has catnip, which is a, a tranquilizer that works on your digestion. This, so do you know what H. pylori is? It's a bacteria that gets in people's stomach who end up with ulcers, right? Have you, yeah, uh, I'm not familiar with No, 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 but well, wondering. But the the is, what, is a really good herb for, for killing all these uh, oh, yes. bacteria. And, 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 and tell me the, um, the chocolate. Uh, okay, yeah, we make a syrup. We usually use a little bit of sugar, natural sugar cane juice, and we grow our own sugar cane. And then we blend our cacao bean, and the cacao bean is fermented. Oh yes, no, no. Fermentation brings out all of uh, the hormonal stimulants in the cacao. No, uh, I, I will, I will have these and enjoy them. Thank you. Great. What's your name? Ira. Ira. Okay, thank you, thank you, Ira. All right, thank you.